Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. Today we're uh, looking at a brand new Linux distribution called Vanilla OS. This is one that just came out a few weeks ago. I'd never even heard about it before, but a bunch of videos for it have been popping up on my uh, YouTube algorithm thing, and so I thought I might as well check it out. So this is what it looks like. This is a clean install of Vanilla OS. This is based off Ubuntu 22.10. I believe and uh, yeah right off the bat let's take a look at what it comes with not that much this is a pretty clean gnome installation uh, it does set up quite a bit of stuff for you quite a bit of repositories it gets you a uh, flat pack and app image support right out of the box by default which is pretty good so I'll show you in a second there's a ton of stuff in the software studio for this but in terms of default applications, there were options to uh, install Office. I chose not to. There was a couple more uh, predefined things that I could have installed, but I just went with a plain basic just to see what everything was all about. Now, in terms of web browser, it even gives you GNOME Web, which is like the worst web browser. Well, it's not the worst, but it's not great in my opinion. But it works. I mean, maybe it's gotten better since I last used it. Um, most distributions seem to come with Firefox, and uh, this one doesn't, which is fine. Firefox has not been all that great lately anyway. And uh, you get GNOME Photos, which is trash. But a lot of the other GNOME programs are good. Files is basically a decent file manager. You got a nice, clean-looking terminal. Uh, let's see. If we right-click on our desktop and we go to our change background you can see it comes with a ton of wallpaper options just right off the bat and dark modes easy to switch to other than that your settings menu is uh, pretty basic your standard gnome settings menu and as you can see this is vanilla OS 22.10 uh, okay so now we're gonna go ahead and hop over to the software studio and show you it all you can easily install out of the box because I think this is pretty much a distribution made for absolute beginners because right out of the box you don't have to do anything you can just open software hit search if you want Chrome there it is right there right from Flathub if you want Steam trust me it'll show up that's one thing about GNOME software. A lot of times when you're in the middle of installing something, you can't search. But here we have, we have Steam. We can go ahead and put that on there. We even have, um, for those of you who like Minecraft, we have Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. So you can play Bedrock Edition right there on uh, Linux. Which is pretty cool. GNOME software, though. Kind of annoying. Something will come up. It'll go away. I wonder if Lutris is on here. I've had people on my channel, there's Lutris, ask me about um, trying to get Roblox working on Chrome OS Flex. Oh, we had an issue there, 404. We'll look into that later. But if you do want a Roblox or a bunch of other games, install this Lutris, and that'll get you that. So all that's installing. Let's go ahead and see if our Google Chrome worked. Yeah, there you go. You got Chrome pretty easily. I'm sure our Steam worked. There's Steam. Of course, I'm going to have to log in to actually show it, so I'm not going to go through all that right now. But, um, yeah, basically, I love that this comes with FlatHub pre-configured. I think Fedora does now, too. Because with FlatHub, you get pretty easy installation of pretty much anything you want to do on Linux. I even see right here on the main page, you got a PlayStation 2 emulator, PS1 emulator, uh, a Nintendo Switch emulator even. That's pretty cool. You got Discord. So, anyway, most things you want, you're going to be able to find in the software center. Other than that, though, this is this is a pretty clean Linux installation. Um, I definitely like it better than stock Ubuntu, so it's an upgrade from that. The installation process was super easy. I think it's something an absolute beginner could go through without problems. So all in all, this is, uh, in my opinion, a good clean Linux distribution. And um, I'd say it's a good competitor with uh, Zorin for the one I recommend for a beginner. I can see our Lutris has installed. 
Um, so you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, this is Vanilla OS. If you've tried it, if you've been using it for a while, let me know in the comments what you think about it. I've only been putzing with it for about 30 minutes here. And to me, this is... This is what I like to see in a Linux distribution. Just nice, clean, the theme's not too flashy, it doesn't come with a bunch of bloat, and uh, easy to set up, and fast. So, this is Vanilla OS. You just search for it on Google. Vanilla OS, it'll come right up. You install it the same way you install any Linux distribution. It works good. Um, and it might be a good alternative for those of you out there using uh, Chrome OS Flex and kind of wanting more. and who are kind of disappointed with the Linux support on Flex, you might uh, give this a try. So, uh, yeah, there it is. If you have any questions, anything you want me to try on Vanilla OS, or anything you want me to show you, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.